News Home More from Video Sunday June 3, 2018 12.24 a.m. Share on Facebook Share on Messenger Share on Messenger Share on Twitter Share on WhatsApp Video Player 2020000 colon 000 colon 000 colon 000 Use up slash down arrow keys to increase or decrease volume Men given just months or weeks to live after being diagnosed with prostate cancer are surviving for more than a year thanks to a breakthrough in immunotherapy treatment. A trial has shown almost 40% of patients who spent 12 months on the drug Pembrolizumab, known as a checkpoint inhibitor, as part of a new study were still alive and 1 in 10 had not seen the cancer grow. The 258 men with advanced prostate cancer were treated with the drug as part of a trial led by a team at the Institute of Cancer Research ICR, in London and the Royal Marsden NHS Foundation Trust. The results, which are to be presented at the American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting in Chicago, have been lauded as amazing. Holy Grail blood test detects cancer years before symptoms show. AI to be new weapon in cancer fight Professor Johan de Bono, director of the drug development unit, said, I have these men who are basically dying with weeks to months to live, who we gave this drug to and had complete responses. Their cancers shrunk, disappeared actually, with minimal cancer left on scans. These are amazing results, and these are men whose cancers had all the treatments. They had everything possible, they've got no treatments left, and they are in trouble. They have very short lifespans left, 40,000 men to be recruited in government's new prostate cancer fight, Bill Turnbull reveals he has advanced prostate cancer according to Professor de Bono. The results mark the first time immunotherapy has demonstrated benefits in men with prostate cancer, which kills more people in the UK than breast cancer, but on this occasion, the researchers found that particular patients may benefit from such treatment depending on the genetic makeup of their tumors. While only 5% of men in the trial saw their tumors shrink or disappear after treatment, many of those had mutations in genes involved in repairing DNA in their tumors. Can dogs detect prostate cancer in humans? Ben Stiller reveals he was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2014. The researchers suggest these mutating cancer cells may be easy for the immune system system to recognize and attack because they look different from healthy cells. Presser de Bono added, We are planning a new clinical trial, specifically in men with prostate cancer whose tumors have mutations in DNA repair genes, to see if immunotherapy can become a standard part of their treatment. It's exciting that immunotherapy could offer some men more time with their loved ones where they have such advanced disease that they have run out of existing treatment options. But the ICR has warned that the treatment will still only work for a minority of patients, with only around 20% likely to respond to immunotherapy. Research will now focus on identifying signs to help pick out the prostate cancer patients whose tumors are most likely to shrink after the treatment. Copyright Sky News 2018 Share Share on Facebook Share on Messenger Share on Messenger Share on Twitter Share on WhatsApp More from Videos Minutes Silence for London Bridge Terror Attack Victim Sadiq Khan and Theresa May were among the hundreds who gathered for a first anniversary memorial service to honor those killed in the London Bridge attack. Dup leader Arlene Foss to warn over undemocratic abortion stance The Labour MP spearheading a cross-party coalition effort to repeal Victorian era laws criminalising abortion across the UK has told Dup leader Arlene Foss to her views shouldn't prevent their bid. Northern Ireland police pause sale of stations amid fears of hard border After Brexit the police service of Northern Ireland has paused the sale of three stations near the border until it knows the outcome of Brexit negotiations.